That's fine. <laughs> you wanna go for a ride? It's a lot of fun. Whee! A wise YouTuber from Utah once said, there's no day like delivery day. And today I find out if that's true, it's Tesla Roadster day. I figure there's enough time to swing by McDonald's for breakfast real quick. The delivery truck should be here in about 15 minutes. I need my McMuffin. And here we are folks, the golden arches of Sierra College Boulevard. Thank you. All right, we got the goods. Now we just gotta make it home before the delivery truck gets there. This has been about a year in the making. Can you imagine that I missed my delivery just because I wanted a McMuffin? I don't want a McMuffin that bad. There are a lot of pros and cons to EVs for sure, but one of the biggest pros is the acceleration. Oh boy. The truck is here. Oh my God, there it is. The Roadster. Oh, I cannot wait. Let's sneak this guy in the garage, make some space. <laughs> Check that out. Hi there. How you doing, Mike? Good. How was your drive? Good. Thank you. You're like Santa Claus. <laughs> you just got it or it's coming back to you? So I bought it in December oh, and... Have you been talking about since? Yep. They are busy, huh? Post-production Mikey here. So one thing I don't cover in this, and I'm saving this for another time, is the story of how I got my Roadster, why I bought the Roadster, and from whom I bought the Roadster. It's pretty exciting, but I don't have the time to go over all of it in this video. It's definitely worth covering in another video, and I promise I will. So I took the risk and... You did really good. I think it worked out. You got good, I lucky. know, I know. Yeah, it's, it's nice. It's a piece of history. There's it not is, many yeah. of these, and this is the first year, so... Okay. Yeah, the 2008 very first year. How many have they made? Of the first year, 500 or 499. Okay. Of total, 2400 or 2500, something it's like nothing. that. No, globally, that's around the whole world. It's nothing, man. You, it's you, rare. It's gonna be really expensive. Yeah. Can tip you? Don't worry about it. At all. Oh, let me tip you. No, my, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Man. Oh, my tip is your your uh, big smile, and I met you. You're Santa Claus. Don't worry about it. Man. He was so nice. Thank you so much, Shalas. Take care. So this is my new to me 2008 Tesla Roadster, which is the first year they ever made them. If I'm not mistaken, 500 cars the first year and a total of 24, 2500 Roadsters ever made uh, for the four years that they did production. Obviously some are gone, some have gotten involved in crashes and fires, things like that. So it's only gonna get more rare from here, but this is the first year, 2008, first year they ever did the Roadsters. Uh, let's go on a drive. In 2008, the pioneers used to drive these bad boys for miles. Okay, so the first thing that's a little bit weird that I'm not used to, what's this? Is this like, this? Oh, it's a key. Obviously Teslas are all on your phone or with the key card, or they have the little toy Teslas that you push and it opens the doors and stuff. But the original Roadster had a key. So even though this is pure EV and you can see my battery on the screen, it still has a tack. Uh, my understanding is originally these were going to be like a two speed electric, which that idea was scrapped. But if you look down here, I've also got my reverse, my drive and my neutral uh, shifter. And then big surprise, heated seats as well as powered windows. And that's only the case because Tesla actually found out that the powered windows weighed less than the ma uh, manual windows. So they went with this option for weight savings. All right, first drive with the new Roadster. <laughs> so 
this car is on rails. Once you start going, the steering, I mean, it's just, I don't know how to describe it. It feels like I am a roller coaster on rails. There's not much insulation in this at all. And this is fairly loosely hooked on top the, the roof to make it easy to remove. Uh, on top of that, you don't have this battery underneath your feet that's heavily insulated. You got a fat honker right behind us and you can hear it. You can definitely hear any time I apply the throttle. Sounds like we're getting ready for takeoff. Uh, driving, it's totally different. There's no powered steering. Uh, I'm below most people's windows, so I'm worried most people can't see me. So my thoughts are constantly about how do I make myself visible. Um, it's a lot of fun. It still does regenerative braking. It's just not as intense as with the newer Teslas. me again. So I don't mention this in the video, but the first place I wanted to go as soon as I got the Roadster was my parents to surprise them. They kind of knew about the Roadster, but like I said, it's been about a year in the making, so they hadn't seen it yet. They didn't know when I was going to be getting it. I recorded some shots and then I drove straight to my parents' house. And so what you're going to see is them seeing the car for the first time and not expecting it. It arrived an hour ago. We are here. Maybe you couldn't see me because I'm really low to the ground. <laughs> Where can I park this? I don't know. Let's find out. <laughs> Good job. In hindsight, I wish I'd gotten a little bit more footage at the end there of their reactions, but I was just really excited to show them the car and give everybody rides, which actually took longer than you'd expect since I can only drive one person at a time, but they loved the car, my dad especially, and I am planning on letting him borrow it for an extended period of time. So while I still have the car, I'm curious, what kind of content do you prefer to see? Do you like more informative videos with just information about the Roadster, or do you want to see me out driving the car, giving other people rides? Also, I owe you guys a thank you. That last video performed much better better than I thought it would. I have actual subscribers now, so let me know what kind of content you want to see and I'll do my best to cater toward that. As always, feedback always welcome. Thanks for your time. Thanks for watching. Hopefully see you next time. Is that no.